Hey guys and welcome to another guide. This video will be about Jean. As you can see I played the games already. We did a couple of first places in a row and also a fourth place. It's pretty much playable here. On a map, flying fantasies, rank 30 and 35 are both possible. So if you need help with Jean or if you are struggling with pushing him and also need some shoutout tips, this is the video you were looking for. Let's come to the build first. We play the first gadget to have a good counter against tanks or assassins. Also it's good in combination with your super. And for the star power we use obviously the second one. On this map you have two options. You can just use the jump pads to rush the middle and get as many cubes as possible. But since we are playing Jean, we need a while to open our chest so we don't really have a use for the jump pads. So we focus on opening the chest on the corner of the map and tend to team with anyone we can team up with but i suggest teaming with brawlers like gus or max or other genes obviously but you can also team with many other different brawler brawler i don't recommend teaming with are lolas and brocks if you have to you can also team with a brock but usually you want to avoid these two brawlers or even max because max have too much damage too much hp the brawler is in general too strong right now you shouldn't team with them unless you have to but if you have the chance try to get these brawlers out as soon as possible okay so the first thing you have to take care of is how many damage you deal for example jean deals 1440 damage three times are around i don't know 4.2k damage in combination with the hook it's 5.2k so if i would grab him now and just shoot three times now he could use his gadget and escape make sure you always kill your enemies when you pull them so make sure you like uh, hit him once and then you can use the pull use your gadget so he can't use his gadget and you have to kill so a thing you should also need to know about gene is that you uh, are really good against tanks for example bull bus toilet so erebus will now uh, super in front of me you can just cancel bulls ult by grabbing him and if you need to you can also use your gadget so you have some space to the tank as you can see this also works with colette erebus will ult now again you can just cancel it and use your gadget to get some space the last tip i have for you i recommend using always auto aim on the pull if you're close enough like this distance you will always hit your pull when you are on max range you will not hit the pull so make sure you're always close enough or you make sure your enemy is running away from you then you can also click auto aim also make sure if you hit your enemy for example tanks and he's like running away from you don't spam your shots just make sure you hit slowly but you never let him heal so the frank is hiding right now and you just wait for him uh, he's hiding behind the wall soon he has to come out or whatever or he's slow so you can just pull him the first game is starting with a pretty mix up lobby and as i said gene is not very fast at opening chest so we just chill Use our main attacks, open the first chest and see if we can get another chest. We just help the bees so we don't start drama. And there we go. Good opportunity. Three cube roller drops two cubes and the gust decides to backstab us. Now we just have to yeah, dodge a bit. That's not the biggest problem. Now we have to grab. I think we could have also killed him if I played it slower but it doesn't matter too much right now. So we chase him a bit. Would prefer to have him out of the game. The Lola in the middle also doesn't want to team with us. There's another chest. We can collect that. And where the Gus is coming back. So just keep him, keep him on range. And luckily the Brock is uh, shooting at the Lola. So we have a problem less. And now we can just rotate to the middle. Look if we find a team. But as you can see, the Max doesn't want to team with us. So we have another 1v2 or a 1v3 situation. And now I decided to just try a play. Like maybe we can get a Brock. He didn't jump. Very bad. We just use the gadget so he can't escape as I already said. That was okay by me. But actually pretty bad from the Brock. So we take that. Now it looks pretty good for us. Try to grab the max here, didn't work unfortunately. And uh, what we want to avoid right now is that the max is teaming with the Gus. So we want to add that as soon as possible. 
And yeah, the, the gas also is focusing on the max. It's good for us. Now just pinch the gas with our super again. Don't let him heal. As I explained earlier against the Frank. Always make sure he can't heal. Auto aim grab and the round is won. Let's get into the next one. Here we are in the second game. Again, mix up lobbies. It's uh, pretty common in Shardown that you have uh, not only one brawler, but many different. So again, we pick the chest first. And we have a gust that instantly wants a team with us, a cold also. So we just focus on the chest on the top. Wasting all three of our auto attacks, a bit risky. So the gust could have backstabbed us here because we had no more auto attacks. But now we know at least that we can trust him. And I also want the chest on the top, also a bit risky. In general, I played a bit risky in this game. You can make sure that you avoid that. Use the jump pad, as I said, a bit risky. Check up the middle. So the gas, as we can see here, should be here. Also the RT and the cold somewhere. We have a bell on the bottom right. We will probably team against her soon. But first we will uh, focus on the Janet. Also here I could have checked the bush first on the left side that I just walked into. So you avoid evil surprises. And yeah, the Janet is slow. We just finish her off. Don't go for the cubes so we can rotate fast in the middle. So we don't get backstabbed or bullied by our team. And we also have to take care about the, about the RT because he can backstab us real quick. So we make sure that we finish the bell. And now we have to make a decision so we can backstab the RT or the cold first. The Gus decided to go for the cold first. I would have preferred the, the RT to be honest. But we're doing a pretty good job here. Not taking any damage. Now focusing on RT because that's the easier way to get first place. Yeah, and now it's actually pretty easy. Go into auto aim range, use auto aim grab, and there we go, having another win just by teaming and playing it smart. So I would say we go into one final round. And again, we can see a pretty mixed up lobby, very different brawler. And uh, this start doesn't look too good for us. We just get one chest. There's a second one that we won't get. So I check the middle if there's another chest for me. That's not the case. So I'm playing a bit more safe here. Going for a safe game. Just rotating a bit on the right side. Checking, checking out the lobby. Who's in the game. Recognizing that the Lola is... Uh, teaming against the max which could be uh, an advantage for us maybe and yeah just checking some bushes max is now uh, backstabbing us again i don't know why maybe i'm not trustworthy i don't know uh, so we just start chasing her now playing better than her being better in a 1v1 making sure uh, we are playing with the walls so she can't do that much there we have to dodge a bit we can chase again. Be careful here. Because of the gadget. And now we fake our grab, so we force her out of the out of the bush. Now we use it. So she doesn't really know when we are going for it. And since we don't have a team anyway, I will just use the chance and backstep the Janet. And now also the Lola. So we'll team now with the with the Nani and the Max. At least for the moment. Because uh, Lola is too strong anyway, and I want to become come first in this round as always. Nani is uh, hitting on us, probably an accident, I don't know. Yeah, make sure Lola doesn't heal Play with the edges, and now we just instantly pull the Nani so they can't 2v1 us. And now you have just, yeah, the, the rest is some dodging and. Uh, Getting into range, clicking some auto aim, you know, but waiting for the max to use her gadget, then clicking auto aim and also winning this round. So Jean, pretty easy brawler in my opinion. 
If you play on right, you can do, you can have easy rounds, as you can see here again. Pretty much rank once. And that's it with the video. Make sure you leave a like if you liked the video, if it helped you, or a dislike if it didn't. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I will suggest you another playlist here if you need help with uh, other brawlers. I'm doing many solo guides. Have a great day, you snakefuck. Peace.